a couple more of these mango -ritas. What is that? And I'm gonna think the Godzilla's all over. literally sticks we're finally getting on the road last night was just rough we got here like at 1 a.m. and then it was like something happened with like the oh the we went to get the car rental and the place the our rental was for one o'clock and they said they closed at one o'clock so by the time we walked over there after we got off the plane they were already gone so they didn't wait any time and they knew we were coming they didn't call, they didn't do any of that. So we had to wait till six o'clock this morning at the airport. So it's been a long night, morning, day already. So we're on our way to Mississippi now. We're in New Orleans and um, yeah, we're on my way, on the way to where I'm staying first and then we'll go wherever we need to, to go to get like my furniture and everything, so. Fields and trees. Nothing. Hey, um, <laughs> we've been moving things all day. I'm so tired. Um, we just kind of got finished with that and got some soul food. It was really good. What was it called? Fisherman? No, Country Fisherman. Oh, Country Fisherman. And we were on our way back and we were going to go to Walmart, but I to stop because I saw the beauty supply warehouse. You like the beauty supply warehouse? We saw, okay, she saw the beauty, <laughs> here, cause she needs some attention. Actually, the beauty no. supply warehouse, I'm like, let's go. And she keeps saying I look like a chicken head in Miss Sealy, even though I love Miss Sealy. But take me as I am, that's fine. I got my little twist going, that's all right. Hey guys, um, I'm in my room. I have some of this stuff done. We got my bed put together, but you know, I haven't told y'all everything that's happened with the car, but we're in the living room of the new place. All this stuff won't be here, but we've been working all morning on this little table and it's a million pieces to these chairs. So I'm gonna show you when we get done and then I'll tell you the story about what happened to my car and why I don't have all of my things. Yo. We in this little store and my mom just decides to take off running for me. <laughs> I really can't find her. <laughs> He's out of line. Well, those of you who follow me on Snap, um, I kind of just talked about my backyard a little bit, but it's like no gate is nothing that I really thought that I would be like. Shit flying in my mouth. The fuck, I can't see Paula. Let's get the fuck out of this country, motherfucker. This is crazy. Anything can be back here. And the people who like know me know I like to explore. So if I'm ever missing, I'm probably down there in those woods. So search there first. Nah, I'm kidding. I won't go without a group. But this is amazing. Like, I love it so much like the I like probably couldn't have picked like a more perfect place for me my car was supposed to be shipped out here like a day before I got here but then it moved until like the day that I got here and the tow truck came and he was like not friendly and I had personal items in my car of course because I'm moving out here and he was just like really aggressive and really nasty with me and was asking like, more money, you pay me more, you pay me more. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, you pay me more money. And I'm like, no, what? Why would I pay you more money? And uh, I guess it's because I have personal items in my car 
but that wasn't a part of the deal they never said i couldn't have personal items so i'm like well mike never said that that was the dispatcher for the company and he's like there had that this has nothing to do with mike so i'm like no just go about your business because that didn't that didn't sit right with me or your dad or my dad right and i had to i'm like let me call let me call my parents and i called the dispatcher and i called my parents to kind of see what they thought of it because at least maybe my car would be here on time but anything anything like that you just you just never know and i i, I have to remind myself because i'm here without all of my things and like all of my clothes and the stuff that i wanted to set up around and everything i have bought before i got here um and i have to keep reminding myself like anything could have happened with that man that was like if he's suspicious or you feel like a situation isn't right then don't go with it just because it may seem like a convenience like he could have never dropped my stuff off he could have like broke into my stuff because i didn't want to pay him extra originally like anything could have happened and he was just shifty and he was like really aggressive and i didn't feel secure i didn't feel safe honestly he could have in order to get me to pay him extra money honestly all he had to do was finesse it like make me feel comfortable like you know what ma'am ma'am this is you know we don't usually take personal items but i will have to come out in the middle of the night and i will have to break my sleep in order to watch your items in case i do you know stop somewhere or anything like that to make me feel more comfortable but he was just like demanding more money and just it was not right so now i'm here like without all of my stuff for like extra days and i'm like might just find somebody else and he's like no i'll just straighten it out i'll have him come back and i'm like i wouldn't give him a dollar at this point like but the you, way that he made me feel but you don't have much and you're still good right and i don't yeah like she said like i don't have much out here but i'm still good like i brought a couple pairs of clothes thank god on the plane Your mommy told you to bring some yeah my mom thank god for her row row but she told me to bring some clothes on the plane because i'm like no my car will be there but i ended up i packed a few pairs of clothes and i packed like certain things like essential things lotion deodorant toothpaste toothbrush but luckily there's like a walmart up the street and everything that i didn't have like i just kind of went to go get but and I'm, I'm still waiting for my car for the for everything else but it's just a crazy situation so the dispatcher is like finding me another driver right now i'm just waiting for everything to get here I'm gonna give you a couple pieces of advice. Your mama and your grandmother already told you, don't go nowhere and hold the drawers and always take enough underwear. Don't ever forget it. That is true. I used to love holy pennies. <laughs> when I was a little girl, like I just could not let stuff go. And my mom would be like, there, there's a hole in those panties, Ansha. And I'd be like, like, so I can still wear them. I was like, little, little. And I'm like, so like, why waste panties? Cause I've never been a wasteful person like ever since I was like little. And she's like, no, you go to the paramedic or you go to the hospital, you got some holes in your drawers. You're not about to make us look bad. Like you don't have no drawers. I buy you, I buy you underwear. So yeah, don't go nowhere with holy drawers. <laughs> and you may have to take off your socks or your shoes. So don't have no holy socks either. You, you're grown, you're it's probably too cute. old. You're probably too old for that. It's not cute. So yeah, there will it's be. It's a big bug. I gotta oh. go. See, this is the shit. It's getting dark. Y'all see that bug? The camera can probably oh, pick it up. My word. Ooh. Yep, there it is. Just flew away. But y'all, there are like bugs out here when it when it um it's getting ready to go down. when it's nighttime. Like when the sun goes down, these bugs like come out with like a vengeance. A couple more of these mangoritas what is that and i'm gonna think the godzilla's all over me so I'm that looks like a i don't know what the hell that it looks is. like a it's something terrible looks like a baby hummingbird listen godzilla is gonna be all over me in two seconds you just wait okay mm -hmm. all right y'all well, i'll keep you posted all right guys so my mom is finally gone and um she left like this well no like this afternoon like around two it's like around eight almost nine now and i had to get my work done like i had so much reading to catch up on because the whole time i've been moving yeah. all right i'm back so i haven't had a chance to do um do much of my work because like it's just been a lot that i've had to do here and it's hard to do stuff 
and study like around people and around my mom so uh, got all that done we went out last night we went to like this um I don't want to call it a club but it was like this lounge type yeah, I'll probably put like a few clips from there kind of but I didn't I didn't get too much of the environment but it had like a dance floor a bar inside outside um pool tables it was you know it was a cool spot <laughs> ended up meeting like one of the owners there and he's like oh you're gonna be my niece I'm gonna take care of you it's like everybody I've been meeting here has like just been trying to take care of me like oh you know do this do this you know if you need anything just let me know so that's really good like it seems like a cool place but um we have got like I got like a lot of warnings about different stuff and like like the rapid AIDS rate I'm like mm, I'm here to study anyway so I have to worry about that but yeah I need to stay away from folks anyway um that, it was like about that like about different parts of town so like we were getting the rundown on a lot of different things and like just don't go here don't go there watch out for these type of people you know so I don't know everybody's been like really helpful so far it's been good and I'm still waiting on my car to get here so that I can unpack like and do everything that I really need to do I went to the grocery store today to meal prep so I'm gonna go ahead and start this weight loss journey or I'm gonna try I gotta get these extra pounds off of me so pray for me with that I'm gonna limit my alcohol limit a lot of different things I didn't buy any breads or anything like that because bread is really my weakness um but yeah, I just have to keep y'all posted on everything that's going on. And I want to show y'all the place like once it's finished. I don't know if I'm going to wait till my roommates get here or just like show y'all my room. But yeah, I'll show y'all something. But yeah, stay tuned and find out what happens next. Bye.